This episode of Nerdist News is sponsored by CW's Batwoman. We're breaking down the Birds of Prey trailer, including some Harley Quinn and Joker details you may have missed. Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn dropped its first trailer this week ahead of New York Comic Con, and it's got something for everyone. Or at least, something for everyone who likes giant mallets and sticks of dynamite. And since this trailer is packed to the gills with details, Easter eggs, and hints that you may have missed, including some subtle and not so subtle references to Joker and Harley Quinn's breakup, we're going to cut through all of our favorites right now. But before we do, we want to give you a spoiler warning. Wait, no. No, we don't. If you clicked on a video breaking down this trailer and you didn't want to be spoiled, then that's on you, not us. <laughs> First off, looks like Harley is going to get some sort of laser tattoo removal in this film. When the trailer opens, she's got her rotten tattoo from the Oscar award-winning film Suicide Squad, but as we cut through the rest of the spot, it seems to come and go. And honestly, we are fine with that. Who wants to damage their face like that anyway? You wanna know how I got these scars? Sorry, wrong movie, guys. Next up. Hidden right in the DC logo is a blink or you'll miss it face. This face either belongs to the Joker or Harley Quinn or both. The eyes look like Harley's, but the mouth is very evocative of the Joker. We'd love to be able to say who it is with certainty, but it's just the briefest flash. With this flick picking up after the events of the Oscar award-winning film Suicide Squad, we know that Harley Quinn has broken up with Mr. J, and since we see Harley cutting her own hair, we know this breakup is serious and for good. Plus, the whole throwing knives and daggers at an image of your ex doesn't bode well for the future of their relationship. Note that this is a more stylized drawing of the Joker without the telltale damage tattoo. Is the film trying to lean away from Leto's portrayal? Mm, it's doubtful. In fact, we would hazard a guess that Leto's Joker will appear in some way in the flick, even if it's just flashbacks or unused footage from the Oscar award-winning film Suicide Squad. And if you were worried that this film wouldn't take place in Gotham, you can rest easy. In this shot of Detective Montoya walking up to an explosion, we see confirmation that this film takes place in Batman's hometown, as we see on the side of the squad cars. Also, later on, when Harley walks away from an explosion, it looks to be this same building. And check out what building it is, because it means a lot for her history. It's the Ace Chemicals plant that's tied to Joker's origin and where Harley made her chemical plunge to prove that she would live for him. It really looks like Harley is trying to scrub her bad memories of her ex. Next up, check out this martini glass getting ready to shatter as Black Canary sings. Definitely an allusion to her sonic scream abilities in the comics, and we'll probably see a lot more of it in the film itself. As an aside, we guess she prefers her drinks shaken, not stirred. Back to Detective Montoya. We see her possibly getting fired, evidenced by her storming out with a box. But all the cops around her are clapping. Are they happy to see her go, or are they paying respects to her service on the force? Also, why does this guy have an eye patch? Next is our first full shot of Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Huntress. Note that in the next shot with Harley getting ready to fight someone, Huntress is behind her in the alley on her motorcycle. And finally, we see Ewan McGregor as crime boss Black Mask. You can tell by the black mask he wears. Wait, he's not wearing a black mask in the trailer? Oh, I guess that'll be a reveal in the film. Although we do get some foreshadowing to a black mask when he's quite upset in front of the red wall. We also see Black Mask interact with Chris Messina as Victor Zaz, the serial killer. And we get to see some of Zaz's telltale scars he uses to keep count of his victims. You want to know how I got these scars? Ah, damn it! Wrong movie again! We then get our first look at Cassandra Kane, who in the comics was the mute version of Batgirl in the early 2000s, while she and Harley get shot at in an evidence locker, as evidenced by all the evidence tags on the evidence, including some dynamite here. Could this be where she gets the dynamite later on? Also, those guys appear to be the worst shots on the planet. Now, much of the plot seems to be about Harley and the Birds of Prey fighting to protect Cassandra. There's the scene in the evidence locker, the dynamite at the end where they're in the car, and another shot of them in a car, but they're chained together. And also this sequence with Huntress on a motorcycle and Harley chasing after an old-timey car and some roller skates. Cassandra's inside. Speaking of Huntress, we see her kicking some mob ass, but later on in the trailer, we see a family and a fancy house getting murdered, and we're wondering if this is a flashback to Huntress's backstory where her mafia family was taken out by a rival. 
Also, Harley Quinn gets a hyena, made famous by the animated series and its comic book spin-offs. We're happy to see her get her iconic pet. Now, we are not sure if this is Bud or Lou, or if Harley will complete the duo and get a second hyena by the end of the film, but we do, however, wonder if she's Lady and the Tramping, a Red Vine, or a Twizzler here, because honestly, her choice would say a lot about her character. And if you weren't sure if Ewan McGregor was going to be Black Mask, we've got some more Black Mask imagery during Harley's musical number with the backup dancers. Another detail to note is that a lot of the trailer takes place in this funhouse. All the Birds of Prey are here, as well as Victor Zaz. We also see Harley Quinn with a trank dart in her neck. Some fans speculate that on the window behind her is written, ha ha ha. Could this be a current or former lair for the Joker? We then get Harley breaking into a prison by beanbagging a guard and waltzing into some cells. It seems that this leads to her being in the evidence locker with Cassandra. Note the outfit and the wet hair. What was she going in for? Is she trying to break someone out? Was it to find Cassandra? Or was meeting her there a coincidence that leads to the rest of the plot? All in all, there is a lot going on in this trailer, and it looks like it's shaping up to be the breakup film of the decade. We'll have to wait until Birds of Prey and the Emancipation of One Harley Quinn hits theaters in February of 2020. But what do you folks think? Are you on board for Birds of Prey? How much of the Joker do you expect to see in the film? You want to know how I got these scars? Damn it! Wrong movie! And will the next Suicide Squad film also win an Oscar? Let's discuss. Thanks again to CW's Batwoman for sponsoring today's episode. Three years after the disappearance of Bruce Wayne, Gotham City has a new protector, Batwoman. However, in order to become the city's symbol of hope, Kate Kane must first overcome her own demons. Her time is now. Catch the new series Batwoman only on The CW, Sundays at 8, 7 central, or next day on the free CW app.